Hello, my name is Mark Letourneau and I would like to share with you uh, uh, a correlation coefficient that I developed when I was a student. Uh, I call it the, the general coefficient correlation and I use the sum of product to calculate this coefficient. So let's use an example. I have X and Y here and I have some scores to, you know, to calculate this correlation. Um, so it's not a perfect correlation because I have uh, uh, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 3, 2 here. So <clears throat> let's calculate the sum of product. I have X and Y here. So 1 by 1 is 1, 2 by 3 is 6, and 3 by 2 is 6, right? And the sum of product would be uh, 13. Now, how would I arrange these scores here to get the maximum correlation I can get with these scores? Uh, but, and I allow myself to move around the score of y, the scores of y, uh, and I'll tell you why later. So I would have um, y that would be that way. Right, the smaller, the smallest with the smallest, the highest with the highest, and um, I will find out the sum of product of this, which is one with one is one, two multiplied by two is four, three multiplied by three is nine, which is fourteen. Right. And that corresponded to the maximum correlation I could get. Positive, right? Maximum positive correlation. Now, how I would arrange the y, the scores of the y variable, to make it a complete, uh, perfect negative correlation? So the score would be rearranged that way. So the, the smallest with the highest and the highest with the smallest and I would get the perfect negative correlation. What would be the sum of product of these two variables here? It would be 1 by 3, 3, 2 by 2 is 4, and 3 by 1 is 3 and the total correlation would be 10. Just happen that this sum of product is the minimum sum of product you can find. Whatever you do with those variables, you can change those scores whenever you want, but keep the same score in Y, but you can move them around and you will never get lower than 10. When you sort the variable in a way that one is ascending and the other one is descending, you're gonna, and, and find the sum of product, you're gonna get the minimum sum of product. If you want to find this maximum sum of product, you sort the variables uh, independently. Uh, it's always independent what I'm talking about. Independently in ascending order or descending order, and you find a sum of product, you find 14. This sum of product is the actual variables as we found it, you know, uh, in this example. So this corresponds to a perfect correlation, a positive correlation. This, is, this corresponds to a perfect negative correlation. So now, what a good idea we have. We're going to create a range. Let me create this range right here. We're going to create a range. And we have 10 here. We have 14 here. Right? A range of sum of product. We have the metal, which is 12, which correspond to zero correlation. This corresponds to the uh, perfect negative correlation, and this corresponds to a perfect positive correlation, and, and this is no correlation. So a sum of product of 12 is zero correlation, a sum of product of 10 is perfect negative correlation, and a sum of product of 14 is a perfect positive correlation. What do we have right now? We have 13, right? 
That's what we have. So that means we have this sum of product that is correspond to the part that is positive on a maximum sum of product we have here. So we have here 13 minus 12 uh, divided by 14 minus 12. So um, the general correlation would be 0.5, which correspond exactly to the, uh, the uh, Pearson correlation of uh, coefficient. Uh, and the difference is the general coefficient is a percentage. 0.5 is a percentage of positive sum of product that I obtain compared to what I could obtain on the total uh, sum of product if the correlation were, was, was perfect, was in a perfect correlation. So uh, here you are. There, are. there are pros and cons to this general correlation coefficient. And the first one is that it's, very, it's more sensitive than Pearson uh, regarding outliers. And also it, uh, the standard error is bigger. Because it is general, we have to pay a little more for the characteristic of this coefficient. So more sensitive to outliers and uh, uh, standard error bigger. Um, the thing that we can do, though, is that if you have um, a curve that way, like that, um, the general coefficient, and if you have your dots very close of the of the of a straight line, uh, not a straight line of the of the curve, uh, the uh, correlation uh, general correlation would be higher than the correlation of Pearson, and a lot higher. Well, here you are, the general coefficient correlation. Have a good day.